copyright disclaimer. While watching this particular video, it's words for like evil more generally in Greek and Sanskrit, but is associated with fear in Germanic languages. So, um, a cognate in Gothic from the same root, for example, is ogion to frighten, and English awe, like A W E, like hold someone in awe, be awed by someone, is from this root. That prompted me into checking upon Bolsem. Etymologically speaking, it originated from the Old Norse Agi that later on became the admiration for our Supreme Being or Almighty. Then I was prompted by the Roka Kodesh to check if it's a G-O-D, an Old Norse one. Lo and behold, it is. Egir. A. Jotun. The Old Norse meaning giant. That is associated with brewing ale. The embodiment of the sea, the one that controls the wind, according to Viking R website, Egir. is even connected with ships. And the waves is the daughter of Egir. He is married to Ram. Hence, he's the one connected with fishermen, with fishing. They dread. But our Almighty Yahuwah is to be revered. With admiration, he is exceptional, remarkable. I will praise you, Yahuwah, for I am remarkably, distinctly made, and your works are amazing, exceptional, that my nefesh knows very well. Furthermore, I'm puzzled with how or why do many says the creator of the universe when first it isn't in the scriptures. Second, it's a hoax to deceive the masses into accepting their agendas. Satanic Luciferian agenda. Etymologically speaking, it is connected with the Proto-Indo-European Oino, meaning singular, unique, then vertere, convert, transform, wear, bend, Combined, it means turned into singular. What's that singular thing? For an extra mundane reason, the Roka Kodesh led me to the Norse G.O.D. Njorthur. That is the rival of Egir. The father of Frey. And Freya. He is the Vanir G.O.D. of seas, wealth, wind, and fishing. While Egir is from the tribe of Isir. That is a Jotun, meaning giant, while the wife of Njorthur, Skadi, is a giantess, a Jotun, too. But what's intriguing is that his children, Frey, Freya, are from his own sister, Nerthus. That he is only the masculinization of the female fertility, G O D D E S S, Nerthus. The incarnation or other called Mother Earth, the Germanic counterpart of Gaia. What's eye catching here is that she is a practitioner of Seder. It's the Norse version of Mach, the modern Icelandic Volva, meaning female practitioner of Seder. Quite interestingly, in Old Norse mythology, it is deemed to be and masculine to be practicing this craft. Freya, daughter of Njorthur, Nerthus, was said to practice this too. But the most compelling is that Odin practiced this sorcery, necromancy, clairvoyance amidst the fact that it is deemed to be unmasculine. Furthermore, it's fascinating that their term is Siga, that means and masculine to practice this craft. Seider. Quite the opposite of Tagalog Siga, that means masculine, brutish, a bully. Hence, there's a strong resistance on the Nordic GODs regarding this practice. This proves even more that Odin is the Norse version of Baphomet, an androgyny. 
the devil, the eye, that leaping goat, to wrap it up, universe, meaning turned into singularity, all things, everybody, is connected with nurses, mother earth, that practices cider, that is deemed to be unmasculine, effeminate, wearing female clothes, quite the opposite of what they should be, strong, masculine. Is it quite a stretch if I conclude that the term universe is to push the divine feminine worship more over the agendas, World Economic Forum's gender equality BS towards transhumanism from transgenderism to transhumanism and they're targeting the children parents are under hypnosis hence i believe that we should snap out of these politically correct terminologies or terms they've been pushing to the masses a dark spell hashamayim declare the works of Almighty Yahuwah of His Kabod, His esteem, the Rakiya firmament shows His handiwork. Quite fascinating that Shamayim, its root is Mayim, meaning water, waters above. Hallelujah. Let the Shem of Yahuwah be exalted through His Ben Yahushua HaMashiach. Laha Le Shalom. Thank you.